for the today video I want to have for you guys with the storage hi you guys welcome back and if you are new here my name is Noemi I know we all in a different journey so more stuff or less things to store but overall if you have a small house or you live in an apartment you have to come up with a tricky way to store things but still keep the minimalist style so this is what I want to target today in this video in the other house it was 1400 square feet so we looked very minimalistic as I would say all our friends who came over oh you guys barely have any stuff then we moved into this house with zero storage I mean we have a teeny tiny cabinet but that's all we have so it's not much to store things so even though we are a minimalist family we are still have things that we need to store because we still use it or love it we had to come up with some solution and also I didn't want that to stuff things into the garage for so many reasons one I let this to be my husband's place so he can put his tools and kids can have the bikes there so I, I even stored the Christmas ornaments and all kind of holiday uh, decorations inside of this home and all the things that is that is for my business that means lots of paint and art supply and all the things and and machines that I need to produce those prints and all the other things so I need to store those things somewhere yet I still love the simple design where my eyes don't get overwhelmed but because if you guys are similar than me I can get overwhelmed by just look at things so I wanted to keep things simple especially the walls because we have a lower ceiling and we don't have that many walls I didn't want that to overwhelm it with so many art and and so many shelves so we keep this one main area with an eye level shaft so that's supposed to hold some of the things that are visually appealing and more pleasing but yet I still store things in there so for example on this shaft I like to keep all those little bags that we either we put presents in there and I will get back to this little bags how useful they are and we use this on a regular basis as well as we travel or we go somewhere I can just grab one of this bag put some apples in there or whatever so there's so many use for that because of that I keep it on the level where we can easily reach and also I keep my essential oils because it's a wooden box so it's completely fits into that style so again I'm using the white boxes so that way it's not too much on this double shelf and I like to keep all the art related supply that I use at this table and I keep the memory things in there so it's something that it's easily accessible but it's not right in our face <laughs> so I could have easily just used something decorative as a plate or just a figurines or something which is I have one <laughs> I do have these kind of things but I'm trying to limit those and just just decorate with something that has a function either it's a light or it's a box that I can store in something so this is the area where we come in to the house so normally I wouldn't think to put a shelf here one we could knock it down with our head as we step in and it's just it would be really a hard location for that however because it's higher than the door it's not in the way and it's visually this is not something that we see right away but as you can see it gives us so many extra storage space so I can put my cutting machine there and all the things that requires me to create my art or store the product that I actually already made so that way this would be an entrance it makes it more functional to storing items I also have my editing office here so I just open the cabinet and I put that shelf across on the opened door so that helps me to create an area where I can do just the editing so that helps me to focus more 
and I get to store all the items underneath that is related to that. And this is another area with a good example. As you can see the shelf up there, this is way higher as we would normally put up the shelf. Normally we would put it lower, but then that way we could not come into the kitchen. So again, we just raised it to the height where we can comfortably put boxes up on the top so i get to store all my christmas ornaments there it's not in the way we don't really have to look at it but it adds an extra coziness to it it makes it more roomy but it's not overwhelming the wall because it's not covering in the middle the other thing that can help you to hide things in a small house is to use boxes that actually as the same color as your wall. So in my case, we used white walls because we need more light in here. And I was able to use the white boxes so I didn't have to paint it. But if I would have a very light whatever color, blue or green, I would color the boxes to the, with the same paint because that will kind of just absorb, absorb the boxes into that wall. So it doesn't really appealing from the corner of your eye as you walk in it still blends in and it's not as harsh as it would stood out with a different color so in this area the next level that i was able to achieve to organize the things because i wanted to fit all my spices in here and all the pantry items is to figure out the heightness of the jars so i can maximize all the use of it before i have these so i'm still working on to put things into the smaller one and put into here where it can go up until the top as you can see it's same height as the drawer so over here i want to achieve the same but with the taller jar so i'm going to use a taller jar over here so i can use all this space here to store more things so the key is to get the most use out of the drawers because generally i love drawers because it's so much easier to see what's on the back when i had a deep cabinet it never worked out for me because i either forgot what i have uh, or i was procrastinating to put away things because i have to lift something up to put this something behind that thing so drawers are working out great with the drawers i had to think in a different dimension like how to fill it out till the top so in this room this is the boys uh, bedroom I added and many other areas in my home I added this hoax and they work incredibly well because when you have a small space it's the crucial thing is to have everything off of the floor because otherwise you can't walk period it's not <laughs> possible so once we put down a bag we have to put it into the place where it belongs otherwise it fills up the space very quickly if you have a bigger home probably you don't experience those kind of challenges but if you have a small home to have everything off of the floor is a main ingredient to have an airy feeling organized tidy home so in this area i really didn't want it to add more shelf one it would be in the way the second is it would be just too much like it would be harder to store things because we don't have that many just tiny things so for this solution and also i want to mention that this area is function as a get ready area which is really works so well so when we go somewhere in the early morning my kids can put out their bag here and the clothes that they want to wear the next day so it's absolutely something where we can just put and set aside the thing that we will need as we have to go somewhere and we just have to grab the things from here so it leaves us with a less stressful morning so for the solution i've got this amazing organic cotton bags and it was worth it for me to buy more than to make them because the cost of the fabric was much cheaper that way and why am i pointing this out so the reason i want to share this with you guys because i was so impressed that it came only in that paper box and they used this paper 
to put together all these bags so there were no plastic use i was very thrilled about that fact and the reason i needed more bags because i can use this so when we go travel somewhere we took toothbrush in there if we go out and about for a day i just grab one of these and i put some apples in there or if we go to the dentist or something i just grab a couple of board games or small card games and i put it in here so there's end of endless possibilities but besides that i can store things in here that would be a little bit tricky to put into the closet we can put sunglasses in here Next, swimming pants and goggles. To store things like card games and something that on the go, it can go in the bag as well. Accessories like watches and butts can go in here. And there's so many other possibilities I'm pretty sure if you have kids they have things that they can put in there but as you can see here so since it has a blend in color it still has this very calm feeling but I got four different stories just in this area it's very easy to locate it's easy to reach for the kids but it's not overwhelming the room with an other furniture because that's another thing for a small house we try to, to get away with less furniture as possible so we can have all the clothes in there and we don't have an additional furniture for these things here we don't need a dresser because we can use this so now we are in our bedroom as you can see i got the hooks over there too it helps me to organize my purses and uh, hats and just put out the clothes that I want to wear the next day so this is the closet and what I want to point out we were able to get rid of the dresser from that room which was a main goal for us so the kids can sleep with us on the weekends they can bring in the mattresses and we sort of camp out here so we needed as much space as possible because this is a small room so what we did here instead of having a dresser on the bottom which would only allow us to use the space from about this area so we opted with these boxes and the reason i love this because if we would have a dresser we might be able to use the dresser from here to pull out the drawer so that means we would have loosened out about this much on this side and on the other side so that means my closet would be smaller with this much as you can see i can already add more stuff that way to that area so this is fairly a small closet for two person but we can easily fit things in here and all the four season items are here even ski pants and coats everything in here and we were able to put this in there because we have this wall to wall shelf so that was the key and then i got boxes that were great in size and it's easy to put away all the clothes when i'm done with washing them i can just sort them i don't even have to pull out the drawer so it's easily accessible but also it definitely adds a, a more space to organize the clothes i would be able to put only one dresser here because of the size of the dressers i would not be able to fit two so even if i have an extra space i could not put that in there just one dresser so instead of having one dresser we now have this two shelf where we can add additional storage you can use paper box whatever you feel comfortable we use this wooden boxes and then we just fold the things as we would fold into the drawer so we got rid of the dresser about i would say a year ago and we haven't looked back because this is a great way to organize actually it's even better because i get to see in the boxes what i have it's easier to sort them out i don't need to pull them out so it solved our problem with the clothes and you guys are probably familiar with furnitures where you can store things so we absolutely love this ikea couch that we have 
so if you live in a smaller house this couch works very well because we get tons of storage underneath and we really love this and also because it's a lower design so it definitely makes the space a little bit look bigger and makes the ceiling look a little bit taller as well in our previous home we used to keep all the linen items in there all the blankets and pillows and now i'm just putting all my art things in there so these were my tips for today if you are interested in more tips how to make your home feel bigger let me know down below in the comments and i will see you soon bye